Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are doing the second update to my 2021 project pan. This is the only project that I'm doing throughout this year because I started it with 50 items and hoping to finish 21 of them for the 2021 year. And I like options, I like variety, I kind of have to play a little mind games with myself. So I, if I picked 50 items, it's just so that I can continuously rotate through my products. I don't get myself bored with using the same things over and over again. And it just keeps me motivated to keep working through things. So, um, since the last update, I was only able to finish a total of three items because I was sick, so I was home for weeks. And I wasn't putting makeup on, I wasn't really doing skincare, I was just really kind of sleeping, watching a lot of Netflix, and watching a lot of YouTube. So, mainly sleeping. Uh, I wasn't really focused on trying to pan products at that time, so I was only able to finish three things, but three is better than none, so let's not complain. The total of items now so far that I went through is 9 out of 21 since I started it. So I'm just gonna show you the three products that I finished so far since the last update. So the first one is this little Biore sample of the baking soda acne scrub salicylic acid acne treatment. I love Biore products, actually a huge fan of them. But after I used this one, I thought it would dry my skin out because of the baking soda and the salicylic acid. It did not, but it didn't do anything else for my skin either. So I would not actively seek this one, um, seek to find that one. And then I had these little samples that I actually rolled in last update. These are the Loma Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioners. I was only able to get one use out of both of these because I have thin hair, but I have a lot of it. So it kind of just soaked right in. Um, these were given to me from my old hairdresser. I thought they were just a basic shampoo and conditioner. I didn't notice any difference after using them. So I would not try to buy this again. Um, and then the only other product that I have is one of the Hershey Spa little toiletries that I had from when I went on my vacation for one. And I was hoarding all of them because of the scent is now nostalgic to me and just because of the memory. But I didn't want them to go bad so I decided to put them all in the project. I was able to finish the shower gel this time. It took me six uses to get through it. And it's just the best scent. It's a chocolate mandarin. Ugh, it smells so good. The first two products, I am not rolling anything in their place, but I am going to in place of this. So I was looking for something that was probably closely related to the scent, and I was able to find this big Mama Jama Hemp's body lotion, and this is a mandarin, orange, and key lime scent. So this I had for a really, really long time. I have not even touched it yet, so we are officially starting here at the top. It smells really good. It smells more of like an orange than key lime but I'm not complaining, it smells really good, and it says it was limited edition. I'm not sure if you can still find it. This has been in my collection for a long time, but I'm really excited to see the progress I can make with this. It's starting at 570 grams, so I'm gonna work on that and see how far we can get. The other items are all things that I have just been working on, so I'm going to go through them and let you know how many times I've used them. The first item I have is this little sleek mini eyeshadow palette, which is the cutest little palette ever because it's these tiny, tiny little mini pans. And I was able to use this four times since the last update. Um, I have a significant pan in this one, even more than the last update. And then I'm hoping this time around, I'm gonna be able to finish these two golds on the ends here because they're beautiful. And I talked about them last time. I really enjoy them. This is called When the Sun Goes Down, just in case you're wondering. Really pretty, but something I don't really need in my collection because they're just so tiny. And yeah, I am thinking about possibly keeping this little palette though, because in the future, if maybe I wanna put like something else in there, then I can just press them into here. I don't know if that's actually gonna work, but I just thought it would be cute to have. So I'm gonna hold on to that once I'm done with it. Uh, so yeah, so we started with 40 grams and we are still at 40 grams with that. The next thing I have is something I hate. It is a Cremo or Cremo shave cream and this is something I bought for Frank. He did not want to use it so I took it. Um, I was able to use it four times. I started it at 180 grams. We're now at 165. So I was able to get through 15 grams of this, which is not bad. So 
I'm gonna keep working on this and just try to get through it. I just don't like it, it's not my favorite. The next thing I have is the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. This is in the shade Plum Rose. I actually really do enjoy this blush, but it's so light on me that I have to use a heavy hand with this to get it to actually show up on my skin, although it is really pretty once it shows up. I used it a total of six times. It started at 45 grams and we're still at the same number. So I'm gonna continue to work on this. I think especially with spring and summer, this will be really pretty. So we're gonna keep working on that one. Then the next one I have is the e.l.f. Rocker Quad. I was I used it one time, and it's funny because the one time that I used it, I actually got a lot of compliments on how my eyes looked that day. So it's just a little four pan mini palette or a small palette from e.l.f. I think I got this as the Dollar Tree. It's a white, a black, a purple, and a gold. But I really did like the, the look that I came out with doing this. It was just really simple and basic, but it looked really pretty. So. I used it one time. I'm gonna probably use it a couple more to see what I can do with that. The next thing I have is the Maybelline Blush, Blushed Nudes Eyeshadow Palette. It's my least favorite palette I have in my collection. I used it a total of eight times since the last update, so I have a pretty big dip in this one here, and I'm really working on these two golds here and also trying to work through these darker deeper browns and this is actually not a bad palette by any means it is very soft so it works for me for work because obviously at work I don't want to scare patients with crazy eye looks and I really don't do that anyways I'm trying to get into more color but whenever I try it, it just looks silly on me so this is kind of a good go-to palette for me during the day when I'm at work because it's just very meh and it doesn't scare anyone and it doesn't make me Feel like an idiot so it's okay it's just something I don't want to have around forever so that is starting at 85 grams and we're still at the same so no changes there all right moving on Tarte Chrome Paint Pot I used it one time it's just a very pretty I'm not going to take that out right now but the very pretty gold foil gold shade you only need the tiniest little bit so this thing is either going to dry out or I'm gonna lose it before I actually am able to finish it. It's really pretty. It's in the shade Park Ave Princess. Love it. Very, very gorgeous. And there's no change with that because I only used it one time. Then we have the Lux Retinol Cream. This was something from my first Dollar Tree skincare review that I did. I finally just did the second one. I That was the last video I just uploaded. So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out. I will link it above. I think it's this one. But um, I will link that above and I was wanting to get more use out of these because I finished that product so now I could start to actually work on my skincare. And I do really actually like this a lot. I used it five times and let me see about the weight. It started at 55 grams and we're at 55. So no changes with that yet but it's a very like it's a thicker cream and it just works really well with my skin. So I'm just going to continue working on that one. Then we have the Skin Nutrition's Hyaluronic Acid. I used it three times. So I just mix this in with the moisturizer and it's a hyaluronic acid 1% and vitamin C serum from Skin Nutrition's and this is also from that same review that I did from Dollar Tree. This is probably expired at this point because of the vitamin C but it didn't lose its color. It's not like a weird color. So um, I'm still just going to continue working through this and see where I can get and I don't think there's any moves on it No, so it started at 75 grams and we're still at the same number and I'm going to keep working on that then we have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer I used it a total of 10 times and I hit pan I'm so excited um, I was so happy when I hit it the other day because I was like yes I finally have some progress I love this bronzer. It works so perfectly with my skin. I definitely am going to get the full size once I go through this one. And I really, really love this. So we started, like I said, at 10, or no, we used it 10 times, and but there's no changes. So at 30 grams, that's where we're at now. All right, moving on, we have the Lip Smacker Lip Gloss that's never gonna die. I used it four times. I've used it a total of 15 times since I started and it had a starting weight of 20 grams. It's still the same, 
And this thing just does not look like it moves. It's so cute. It's just a really pretty pink lip gloss. It's cotton candy clouds, so it has a good taste to it, but it will not die. It will not die. So we're gonna keep working on that. Um, what else? Oh, this is the Skin Nutrition's Dark Circle Serum. I used it four times. This was part of that first um, review, again, through the Dollar Tree products. This doesn't really do anything. It has like this little metal ball applicator so that it kind of feels cooling on your skin. I do like it for that reason because I think it just feels nice. It's like helps with puffiness. Um, but I just, I don't see any benefits from this. So I used it four times. We started at 20 grams and we're still at the same. So I think the rest of them, I didn't have any progress with the weight either. So that kind of stinks, but at least I'm getting use out of this stuff. Then we have the Dove Go Fresh Body Wash. I used it five times. I did not weigh this one before, so we're at 20 grams now. I think I probably only have like maybe three more uses, if that, in here. So this should be finished by the next update. Then we have the Hershey Hotel Shampoo. I used this three times. So again, this is just something I was hoarding. We're right here now. So I should be able to have this finished by the next update. And the last one, so excited because I have progress on it, is this little stupid EOS that's expired. We talked about this the last time and I actually have progress on it. So I used it nine times, 20 times total, and it's still at the same weight, 25 grams, but I used it and now you can see there's actually progress there. So, which is weird actually when I started using this more once I got through that top layer of it which makes no sense but kind of like that part like right when you started using it it actually will still feel like it's on my lips in the morning when I wake up sometimes which is really weird um but it's not so bad as what I thought it was so all in all we finished a total like I said of nine out of 21 products towards our goal and now we are working with 45 items in the project rather than 50 because some things have rolled out, haven't been replaced, and some things we replaced. So the total is 45 items that are still in the project, but we finished a total of nine out of the 21. I hope that makes sense. Um, I am hoping, my plan is I would really love to get more makeup in this project. So I'm planning on trying to get through as much stuff as I can through this next before the next update because I really would love to move more makeup in for fun um, maybe even some single eyeshadow shades or like some shadows from different palettes if I can kind of find like a link towards whatever the product is that I'm finishing and I would really love to do that so keep your fingers crossed for me and I hope that we can do that because I just I really enjoy watching the makeup pans or project pans more than anything. I just have so much of the other stuff that I want to work on that too. So that's going to be my update for today. I hope you guys are having a great week and I hope you have a great weekend wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And if you're doing a project, please let me know down below. I'd love to come check yours out and let me know if you finish something like I'm, I just, or have you hit pan on something that just made your day? Like how silly is that, that it would just make you so excited, but I swear, as soon as I took it and hit the little things, like, yes, I did it. So I'm hoping this will just be a couple months and then this will be gone. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.